good morning children today we are going to start with chapter 7 triangles point a represents a position suppose you are given three points in these positions as mentioned if i join all these three points you are getting a straight line and so we call the points a b c as collinear points that means what are collinear points collinear points are points which are on the same straight line now imagine the points in the positions as mentioned here what type of points are they they are non collinear points that means these three points are not in a line when these three non collinear points are joined the figure you obtain will be a triangle that is a polygon bounded by a polygon or a rectilinear figure that means figures made up of line segments bounded by three line segments is called a triangle so when three non collinear points are joined we get a triangle what are the six elements of a triangle the six elements of a triangle are three vertices which are points as a b c and three sides ab bc and ac which are line segments so these are the six elements of a triangle now the concept of congruence you have already gone through in class 7 what is the meaning of congruent figures what is the meaning of congruent figures if you have two figures which are of same size and same shape that means if one figure if you superimpose over the other one if they exactly coincide such figures are called congruent figures that means when you have figures having same shape and same size then you can say the figures are congruent if you check the palms of your hand the palms of your hand can be congruent because if you superimpose one on top of the other the points on each finger as well as each palm will exactly coincide regarding figures when can you say two line segments are congruent if they have same length when can you say two circles are congruent if they have the same radius when can you say two squares are congruent if the side of the squares are of the same length similarly how can you say two triangles are congruent for triangle congruence we need not prove or we need not get all the six elements are equal we can prove triangle congruence by certain criteria let us discuss 
the criteria of congruence of triangle in detail. The criteria for proving two triangles as congruent. The first criteria is if angle A of triangle ABC corresponds with angle D of triangle DEF, then angle B and angle E are equal and the side AB and side DE. What is the peculiarity of that side AB and DE is it is an included side between the angles A and B. So when you look into the markings in the figure, two angles of triangle ABC are equal to the corresponding angle of triangle DEF as well as the included side of triangle ABC is equal to the included side of triangle DEF, then this criteria is called ASA criteria and we define the ASA criteria as if any two angles and included side of one triangle are equal to the corresponding angles and the included side of another triangle, the triangles are said to be congruent by ASA congruency. How do you write? In the picture, angle A and angle D are equal, angle B and angle E are equal and the side AB and side D E are equal. Therefore, triangle ABC congruent to triangle DEF by ASA congruency. The symbol of congruence is two equality symbol and a symbol on the top. The second criteria is by S S S. Can you guess what it is? Yes. If the side PQ and XY are equal, then QR and YZ length are equal and PR and XZ length are equal. Then immediately you can say triangle PQR congruent to triangle XYZ by side 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 congruency. So what is the definition or what is the wording? If all the sides of a triangle are equal to the corresponding sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent by SSS congruency. The third criteria is by SAS. What is the meaning of that? If angle O and angle Q are equal, then if OX and QP are equal, OY and QR are equal, which shows that side OX and side PQP are equal, side OY, side QR are equal, two sides, and which angle we have taken is the included angle, angle O and angle Q. Then triangle XOY. Congruent to triangle PQR by side angle side congruency. That means if any two sides of one triangle are equal to the corresponding sides of another triangle and the included angle of the first triangle is equal to the included angle of the second triangle, then the triangles are congruent by SAS congruence. The fourth criteria as the picture shows 
it is a right triangle already in a right triangle one of the angle is 90 degree and now the congruency is RHS which shows that R represents right angle H represents hypotenuse and S represent any one side. It can be either the altitudes equal or the base equal. So the condition is if the hypotenuse and any one side of a right triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and the corresponding side of the other triangle then the triangles are congruent by arches congruency. In this particular figure, if angle B and angle Q are equal, then BC and QR are equal, AC and PR are equal, then triangle ABC congruent to triangle PQR by RHS congruency. So the four main congruencies are SAS, SSS, ASA and RHS and using these congruency or using these criteria you were constructing triangles in your smaller classes. Now the last criteria is AAS which shows that any two angle and any one side. It need not be the included side. That means if angle X and angle O are equal, then angle Z and angle Q are equal and any one side XY and OP are equal, immediately the triangle will be read like X, Z, Y, X, Z, Y or X, Y, Z congruent to. Before writing the next triangle, see whether X corresponding with angle O and Z corresponds with angle Q. So it should be triangle O, Q, P. And this is called AAS congruency. Now, by taking any three measures or by taking any three elements, we could prove the triangles are congruent. The remaining angles and sides, which becomes automatically equal, we call it as corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Once again, by taking any three elements or by taking any three measures, because there are six parts for a triangle, by taking any three parts of one triangle and comparing their equality with other triangle, we can prove the triangles as congruent. The remaining parts will also be equal and we call the reason as corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So the criteria are ASA criteria, SSS, SAS, RHS and AAS criteria. The remaining exercise will be based on these congruence, proving the congruence of triangle all these congruence definitions you can underline in the text. Let's proceed with exercise 7.1. The first question in quadrilateral ACBD. ACBD. AC equal to AD. So one of the condition is AC and AD are equal. That means the length AC and length AD are equal. The second condition is AB bisects angle A. What is the word meaning? Bisects is it cuts into two equal parts. AB is a line segment. 
it is dividing angle A into two equal parts. That means this part and this part are equal. You can call it as angle 1 and angle 2 as easy purpose for proving it easily. Show that triangle ABC congruent to triangle ABD. Let's color the two triangles ABC is the triangle on the top and triangle ABD triangle ABD already there are two conditions given in the question only one more condition you have to apply so that any one of the criteria will be satisfied so given given AC is equal to AD and angle 1 is equal to angle 2. What is to prove is triangle ACB congruent to triangle ADB. And the proof, the two triangles you can see up and down in triangles ACB, ADB. Number one, there will be always three conditions. Number one, AC and AD are equal. That is given. Use the given conditions first. Number two, angle one of triangle ACB and angle two of triangle ADB. Angle one is equal to angle two. That is also given. Now, what is the extra factor you are finding is you can see that the side AB is common for both the triangles. That means you can see here also. Here also that means the third condition is AB equal to AB common. That factor only you are finding out. Now mark it. Which shows that take any one triangle and see what is the criteria. If you take triangle ACB you can see this side has been taken. This side has been taken for the proof and this included angle is taken. So what is the criteria? The criteria is side, angle, side. Which shows that triangle ACB is equal to triangle, congruent to triangle ADB by the criteria of SAS congruency. And now what can you say about sides BC and BD? The side BC and BD are corresponding parts of congruent triangles because without using BC and BD you could prove the triangles are congruent. Once the triangles are congruent the remaining parts are also equal. You can say therefore BC equal to BD the reason is corresponding parts of congruent triangles. And we use the short form as CPCT. This is question number 1. Similarly, question number 2. ABCD is a quadrilateral. ABCD is a quadrilateral in which AD and BC are equal. The sides AD and BC are equal. Angle DAB. DAB. The full angle is equal to angle CBA. Already you can understand which are the triangles. Prove that triangle ABD. That means the same triangle DAB congruent to triangle CBD. BAC. In triangle ABD. ABD and triangle BAC. The same triangle. PD equal to AC and the remaining sides. The first pair they have wanted you to prove ABD congruent to BAC. Let's mark it with a color ABD. And triangle BAC.
When you look into the picture itself, it's very clear what are the given conditions. The given condition is AD is equal to BC. Second given condition is angle DAB equal to angle CBA. And what is to prove is number one, triangle ABD congruent to triangle BAC. Number two, BD and AC. BD equal to AC. And number three, angle ABD, ABD, the small angle. Angle three is equal to angle BAC. BAC, angle four. Angle three is equal to angle four. Now, the proof. Can you see the triangles colored as BAD and ABC? In triangles, ABD, BAC, as same mentioned here, the side AD and side BC are equal. BC is equal to AD. The second condition again, DAB. Angle DAB is equal to angle CBA. Both the conditions are given. And the third condition, same way as you observe, side AB is common. AB is equal to AB common. Therefore, triangle ABD congruent to triangle BAC. By checking one triangle, see what is the criteria. That is, you have considered this side, you have considered this side and you have taken the full angle which shows that it is SAS congruency. It is by SAS congruency and the remaining both the answers will be corresponding parts of congruent triangle. Therefore, BD equal to AC and angle 3 equal to angle 4 both will be CPCP that is the remaining one side and angle becoming equal. The next question from the word itself AD and BC are equal perpendiculars to a line segment AB. That means AD and BC are equal perpendiculars. That means 1 and 2 are also equal. And what is to prove is CD, that means the line CD bisects AB. That means the line CD is dividing AB into two equal parts. Which shows that AB is divided into two equal parts. That means you have to prove AO is equal to BO. So the given condition is AD and BC are equal. Angle 1 and angle 2 are 90 degree. And what is to prove is A, CD divides so that CD bisects AB. That means AB is cut into two equal parts. So what are the triangles under consideration? The triangles are AOD and B O C. Out of that, two conditions will be already given. Only the third one you have to find out. So, proof in triangles A O D and B O C. The first part A D and B C are equal. Second part, angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to 90 degree. This both are given condition. What is the third condition is you can see here angle 3 and angle 4 are equal. What is the reason? The reason is vertically opposite angles. Therefore, what is the condition? The condition is triangle AOD is congruent to triangle BOC by 
take one triangle it is any one one angle here one angle here and any one side it is by the congruency of aas and therefore ao is equal to bo as corresponding parts of congruent triangle which means that cd by 6 therefore cd by 6 ab these are question number 1 2 and 3 question number 4 L and M are two parallel lines intersected by another pair of parallel lines P and Q. Show that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. Triangle ABC congruent to triangle CDA. ABC is this triangle and CDA is this triangle. the condition is both the pairs of lines are parallel so the given condition is given condition is l parallel to m and p parallel to q if the lines are parallel what are the type of angles either corresponding angles or alternate interior angles can be used then what is to prove is triangle abc congruent to triangle d a c a b c congruent to triangle d a c or c d a now proof check what are the lines parallel is if l and m are parallel one of the transversal you can see here the lines are the angle here one an angle 2 that means angle 1 of triangle abc and angle 2 of triangle abc are equal by alternate interior angles then the next pair is angle 3 and angle 4 another pair of alternate interior angles with the lines q and p and the common side as ac how do you present the answer as proof since the first pair 1 and 2 is equal because of the lines l and m parallel since l parallel to m angle 1 is equal to angle 2 alternate interior angles the next condition of angle 3 and angle 4 equal is with the parallel lines q and p since q parallel to p angle 3 is equal to angle 4 again another pair of alternate interior angles and ac is equal to ac common the beginning you can start here as in triangles abc and cad therefore triangle abc in this figure you can see that a is corresponding with c that is why we are taking the correspondence like that congruent to triangle cad by angle angle and side that means it has two angles and included angle asa congruency therefore the triangles are congruent by asa congruency the fifth question is in the figure line l is a bisector of angle a you can see angle a is formed and l is a bisector which shows that angle 1 and angle 2 are equal given since l is a bisector of angle a angle 1 is equal to angle 2 then BP and BQ are perpendiculars to the arms of angle A. That means BP is perpendicular, BQ is perpendicular. Let's keep the angles as angle three and angle four. Angle three equal to angle four is equal to ninety degree since BP and BQ are perpendiculars. And what is to prove? 
to prove is the first one triangle APB congruent to triangle AQB and the second one BP is equal to BQ or B is equidistant from the arms of angle A. The color the triangles as per the congruence as triangle ABP and triangle AQB. A, Q, B. You can take the criteria as in triangle, in triangles A, P, B and A, Q, B. First of all, write the given condition. You can see here angle 1 and angle 2 are equal. It is given. Again, angle 3 of this triangle and angle 4 of this triangle are equal. Again, given condition. What is the common side there? It is AD is equal to AB common therefore triangle APB congruent to triangle AQB by take any one triangle and see what is the congruence. See here the side two angles and any one side. You cannot take RHS here because right angle hypotenuse but it is not the side given to you. So again the criteria is any two angles on one side that is AAS congruence and now what is the remaining part is therefore BP and BQ are equal what is the condition after proving the triangle congruence the remaining parts also will become equal therefore BP is equal to BQ the condition is corresponding parts of congruent triangles which shows that point B is equidistant from the arms of angle A. 